Welcome to this first video on the best chess traps in the history of chess. Big statement, but that's exactly what we're going to take a look at here. So the trap I'm going to show you in this very short game is something you can try on your opponents with the black pieces or indeed something you should certainly avoid with the white pieces. So what is this trap? Well, the trap we're going to look at is called the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. And this is Mr. Blackburn. And Mr. Blackburn, who was an English player, was born in 1841 and died in 1924. He was one of the strongest English players about. And this is the name of the trap, which is named after him. The Blackburn Shilling Gambit. So called because a legend has it that Blackburn the old geezer you just saw there, played this idea on a number of occasions against patsers, in other words, weak chess players, to win a number of shillings. So he did all right from this trap. What am I talking about? Okay, well, it starts with the move E4, which is one of the most common moves you will face. And this is a trap you use with black. You go E5, so one of the most common responses. And here, white plays knight to f3, so the most standard move, attacking your pawn on e5. You respond with the most standard response, knight to c6. And this is a trap you can do against the move bishop to c4. So bishop to c4 is the most second common move, so you'll face this in a number of your games. The most common move, of course, is knight is bishop to b5 attacking your knight on c6 here but after bishop to c4 there are a number of options and the blackburn shilling gambit now starts with knight to d4 this crazy knight jump and here i think a lot of players will think hang on a minute there is a pawn on pre a pawn i can capture so lots of players have now played knight takes e5 here winning that pawn but this is falling into our crafty trap because here we go queen to g5 and this attacks the knight but also attacks the pawn on g2 and when you create two threats in chess it's called a fork so we're creating a fork here and now i think most players with the white pieces if they haven't seen this trap will be very tempted to go knight takes f7 and this is actually creating a fork for white because the knight is attacking the queen and the rook. And white might be thinking, hallelujah, we are going to win some material. But in actual fact, black is now winning. Because black can go queen takes g2. And this is threatening to take that rook with check. So white really only has one decent try here. And that is rook to f1. And now we finish our trap. We go queen takes e4 check, a big vicious check. That queen cannot be taken, the king cannot move, so there's only two ways you can block the check. If the white queen goes in the way, then knight takes queen, will win the queen and we should win the game. And the proper trap is with bishop to e2, but now white has created a box around his king, so knight to f3, thank you very much. Is a very nice checkmate. The white king is in a box. The bishop cannot take the knight because it is pinned. So that is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit, a way to win a game of chess in seven moves. Now, what should you do with white if you face this? Well, El Lapazza, there with the white pieces, clearly didn't do the right thing against McTrappy from Scotland. So what should white do? Well, after this move, which starts the Blackburn Shilling Gambit, knight to d4, there are a couple of decent moves. Castling kingside cannot be a mistake. This follows the general principles of what you should do in the opening. Develop your pieces, control the centre, get your king safe. And this is one thing that El Patsa did not do. Another good move here would be to actually take the knight off the board and then to attack the centre with c3. But let's have a look at that trap one more time. And that trap is with bishop c4, knight to d4. And now if white gets greedy and grabs the pawn on e5, 
you swing your queen out to g5, creating a fork, and now if white gets even more greedy, your queen takes the pawn on g2, attacking the rook, and after the rook moves, queen takes e4 check, and if bishop e2, knight to f3 check mate. And that is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. And that's the first trap in our little range of opening traps. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll show you a number of other traps that you should all be aware of if you're starting out in chess. Thank you for watching this video. And goodbye for now.